They keep asking me, Truth, how do you feel about the Miko Worldwide situation? You know, I've been watching it. I've been watching it. I've been letting everybody speak on it. With things like that, you got to understand, it's easy to make a mistake slip at the tongue of the word. I did that recently in the blog with Lil Zay Osama. You got to sit. You got to let this news marinate to make sure you get it right. It's not always about rushing to the internet fast with it, but just giving the right perspective. I just sat, let it marinate. Now, I'm going to tell you, I done read the news, Miko. I've been watching this shit for a while. I think he dope. Go to different hoods, get perspective from different hoods. I think the hood vlogs is dope. I actually got a few going to be coming out pretty soon. Don't want to tell nobody nothing about that, though, but I've been watching that shit. I think that is dope. You know, I do get it. You know, he should have told people about his background before he started filming people going to their hoods, putting them on the cameras, having them promoting that shit, rapping that shit, hollering that shit, you know. People don't know that you, you know, did some what the police is alleged and some freaky shit, you know. I don't really want to speak on that. That type of temperament not good for YouTube. But, you know, they say he did some freaky shit with some underage men. I guess he, you know, gay or whatever. Hey, that's his business. No problem with that. But I guess he did some, you know, some weird, you know, some off the head bad shit. You feel me is what they saying. I guess he supposed to let street niggas know that. When you come in the street hoods, you got to let people know that. A lot of street people then spoke out against that saying, man, they didn't know about that shit. You know, I get it. But the guys that robbed him, I want to tell y'all something. You know, when I looked at the police report, didn't really need to look at it because it was right on the internet. These guys went to the internet with this shit. You know, they got him to come back, you know, uh, they filmed him all. I guess these guys were filmed already, uh, you know, by Miko. They got him to come back, they lured him back. These guys went online and told a story of a torture. Okay, this was like a fucking, t they told a story of beating him up, taking his chain, his plaque, all kind of shit, man. The man told stories of they tried to put a phone in his face and get in his bank accounts and all kind of shit, right? They told this story. You know, I don't think the internet needed to know about that. You know, that was self snitching at its finest. I get they wanted to send a message, send a temperament. Hell, they even said people got to buy this shit back. They actually promoted beating and robbing this man. This shit was for promotion. Hey, y'all, tell somebody to tap in so you can get his shit back. I couldn't believe this. You know, this ain't like big-time famous rappers who faking that shit off. This was like some street shit. These guys are on the internet being watched. For some reason, I guess people thought Miko was finna hold it down on some street shit and, and keep it in the street. No, he walked right to the police station and he told. I mean, is anybody surprised by that? I'm kind of confused that this has made news, to be honest with you. You know, he's like a civilian in this shit. Now, I'm not saying he right, man, because I heard some freaky, weird news with him. So this ain't a take up for him. But this is more about a thing of telling on the internet. We got to be careful. When you get away with some shit, this could have just been his word against y'all. On some real shit, his word against y'all word. It was a story told about how people lured him in and beat him down. Hell, it was the story told about how he was treated like salt. I don't know if y'all ever seen Hostile, but this shit was like a movie out of Hostile. They told this story. He didn't really need to tell the police this shit. All the police had to do was just log in to Google, type in YouTube and shit. You see the video there. So I guess five people was arrested. They gonna face charges for that, you know? I mean, you know, I'm not here to speak up for Miko. I guess he a blogger, vlogger, uh, podcast. I'm not here to speak up for him. Like I say, I don't want to get into that. I'm going to let that play out. Because, you know, I heard some freaky shit with him, you know. So I don't, I'm going to keep my judgment on that. But to rob the guy, beat the guy. Hey, you wanted to send him a message, I get it, you know. But to promote that shit, make it marketable. A torture marketable. I think it's kind of crazy in my opinion, you know, uh, especially coming for a blogger. Because when I hear about shit like that, that shit, you know what I'm saying, that don't make my mental too gentle to hear people doing shit to bloggers, you know. But I get it. It was some weird all back shit. You feel? It was some weird turnaround shit with that. I get it. You feel me? But uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, man. It's the only truth out of the street, boy. Blah, blah, blah.